As much as I would like to say this video's thumbnail was photoshopped, it wasn't. I was really hesitant to upload this video because not everyone is going to take it the right way, but this does happen, even to nail technicians. And I think it's important that all of you out there know how to handle a situation like this. Of course, we all know about mold and how it grows, whether that's on fruit, in rooms, especially bathrooms, where there's a lot of moisture buildup. Take that situation with lifting, uh, as something as simple as washing your hands, that humidity gets trapped underneath, um, and then within about a week, if that lifting isn't taken care of, mold could start to build up completely out of sight. Now there are two different types of bacterias to be aware of. Uh, Pseudomonas, also known as green nail syndrome, which is accompanied by uh, temperature and pus. It has to be treated seriously with antibiotics, as where mold can be cleaned with an acidic substance that will kill all of the spores. However, mold buildup with lifting is quite a rare case. I've had clients come in who have had lifting for almost a month with absolutely no mold growth. My nails don't always hold their coating on well, and lifting sometimes does occur. Of course, I usually deal with it right away, but as many of you know, I was on vacation and this manicure was already two weeks old before I spontaneously left on my trip. I didn't do a fully detailed manicure and I corrected uh, the outgrown area only with a base for gel polish. I was swimming pretty much daily during my vacation and those spots with lifting just accumulated with microflora. Once I got back home and started working on my nails, I beheld this greenness. Luckily, it was just on the surface of the nail and mostly came off with a nail file. And then I just went in and applied an acidic primer. I was only going to film my left hand. However, I had to turn the camera back on as I couldn't believe what I was seeing on my right hand. I had never seen something like this before. I was extremely worried. I did some research online and found a lot of information about green nail syndrome. I didn't have any of the symptoms listed such as heat, pus, or swelling. My nails were dry and still rooted to the nail bed. Uh, I went to the hospital and the blood analysis showed that everything was fine, which was such a relief. Later, I coated my nails in an IBX recovery formula. I went ahead and coated my nails in a typical nail polish from the drugstore as I decided to do some stamp designs. A typical non-gel polish will be great for something like this because they dry quickly. And actually, the polish lasted for an entire week. Sometimes gel polishes don't even hold on that well. It's also super simple just uh, after that week to go back in and correct any chips or just go over everything in a top coat. 
After that week had passed, I removed all of the polish in order to see how my nails were doing. The green tint was already decreasing, and my nails were already looking a lot better. I also gradually clipped them down, removing even more of the green tinted area. I am going to apply my IBX once again. My nails are already looking so much smoother, and those scratches aren't visible anymore. In order not to frighten anyone, I'll be coating my nails once again in a typical nail polish. The polish will also protect my nails, creating those extra two layers, considering they are pretty thin right now. Uh, so for this, I've chosen this beautiful purple. This picture was from the 9th of January. After that, I once again applied the IBX formula, and today is already the 30th of January. That initial time that I saw my nails uh, for my trip and then started applying the IBX formula uh, was about a month and a half. I will be doing a classic cleanup without my nail drill. Those terrible little white spots have completely disappeared thanks to the IBX. I don't know how it works, but it does an incredible job. Uh, and almost all of the affected nail has completely grown out. This formula needs warm air to dry, so for that I'm using a blow dryer. I'm applying the first layer, letting it dry, uh, first with the blow dryer, then with a dry napkin I'm removing any excess, and then drying the rest under the lamp. Further, I am applying our dehydrator, and then proceeding to our polish. I am so glad that this video ended on a high note. I hope all of you found it helpful. Never hesitate to consult a doctor as they will be able to tell you exactly what's going on and it'll help you sleep at night. Please give this video a big thumbs up and until next time.